Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and uh, here are a few screenshots of the install process that I took with my phone. Uh, so when you actually boot up, you will be asked of course to set up the drive. You just click your drive, you want to install it and Windows will do the rest. You can also install from an existing Windows operating system of Windows 10. What that's going to do is then you just click the setup uh, that will show up with your USB thumb drive and just install from the setup process there. And it will actually ask you if you want to keep or um, some of the apps or some of the, the files. Or it's going to tell you, you know, you want to clean, just remove everything. That's what I did on mine. And uh, just follow the instructions of installing. So it's going to give you this first screen of installing, give you a certain amount of time. Took about this process here. Of install here 1% to 100 took about um, I'd say about an hour and uh, on that old machine an hour and 20 minutes it has a um, old magnetic hard drive so it's slow because of that also and then of course you have choose your country choose your uh, keyboard layout input choose you know if you want to have a second uh, layout or not. Then you want to connect to a Wi-Fi. This is where I had to connect uh, personally a uh, USB Wi-Fi adapter. It did not recognize my Wi-Fi from the uh, laptop itself. That you got to be uh, and got to understand that it, it, it's a possibility if you have a really old laptop you're trying to install on. It's not impossible that there are some hardware that it doesn't detect or is incapable of having uh, to work because it doesn't have the drivers. Then you will, of course, go and checking for updates. Then it's going to go and ask you about what, tell you different little things here, accelerate, search, access, or 365, blah, blah, blah. All things I want to count if you want to sign in. Um, then I've signed in, of course, with my account. It says, or do you want to restore from Windows 11 on other machines, which means that you have all the different uh, functionalities that come back. You can, uh, of course, then create a pin. There's uh, choose a privacy settings if you want to remove some of the privacy settings, diagnostics data, stuff like that. Uh, then there's, of course, more privacy settings with the uh, advertising ID and all of that that we talked about here about you know, if you want to turn it off. Um, here you can choose a customer experience depending on what you're going to do with your computer. I skipped that process. I never used this customization experience. Then it tells you you want to, you know, put your phone with an Android device. Told me, take a few minutes, don't turn off the PC. And finally got to Windows. Uh, then, of course, first thing you got to do once you're here is go to the settings, go to the Windows update. Make sure that you check for updates. Mine had a lot of updates that did bring it to the latest 22H2 build uh, for 22.621. So um, went without a glitch, no error messages, nothing. It really worked perfectly in my case. So if you're looking for upgrading your PC, an old PC to Windows 11, uh, seems to work well. And it is fairly fast. I'm, I'm surprised at the speed. The only slow down that I could see is when there's disk access. I noticed that this is an old magnetic hard drive. That's what's slowing it down really because for the rest, once when it doesn't need disk access for different functionalities, it actually works great. And um, actually I'm gonna install OBS Studio and make a video uh, to show you how it works and uh, how well it goes. So, you know, it shows you that Windows 11 is capable of working on older machines, uh, but um, it, uh, it is, you know, uh, blocked for several reasons. Microsoft talks a lot about the security. Um, it is true that TPM 2.0 does add a security layer that's kind of interesting. Uh, but for the rest, for the you know performance, um, I mean, even on that old 10-year machine, it's surprising how well Windows 11 actually goes uh, on that machine. Uh, I see a lot of people saying, well, you know, Windows 11 is bloated and Windows 10 is bloated compared to Windows 7. It is not. Actually, these versions are very slick and uh, honestly are not bloated. Um, thinking it's bloated, you don't really know what you're talking about. 
They are very, very slick. They are very efficient in the way they use memory and um, you know, the RAM and all of that. Um, it is a contrary to what people think, and they are actually much faster than Windows 7 in most cases, without considering the fact that Windows 7 is a nightmare and updates. So if you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.